Well, I've got two sets of these. I don't bloody know. What happened to that? I've only got one head. Well, you know. Well, my back time. Got a few things here. Let's get stuck into it. We have some antenna. These are some 468 megahertz antenna, apparently. SMA type. Let me try these out. I have a VNA. Right, so I've done a one port cowl. Let's put the antenna on. The problem with doing antennas like this is that you do get reflections from surfaces around them, so we'll see what we get. That's rather messy. Valley center frequency just here. Let's do it again. Now I've just put hand away. Right, what things do we get in there? About one gigahertz. So I think this is supposed to be a 68 or 915 megahertz antennas. I don't remember exactly which ones they were. We're getting one gigahertz out of this one, basically. So where I was expecting to be was like around there somewhere. So that's a shame. These weren't really the frequency I was looking for. They don't operate where they're supposed to. Which has been an ongoing theme. Each time I get some antennas, I test them out and they never seem to be correct. It's a bit annoying. It's a more antenna and I've just turned it all off. Let's turn it back on again. And I tested these off camera and they're given basically the same result as these ones. It makes me a bit suspicious actually about my VNA accuracy. Yeah, Dunno. I'll have to look into that some more. I'm probably doing something wrong. Having a bad day. Wireless sports headset. Basically some Bluetooth headphones or earphones. Stick those in your ears. Alternative earpieces here to suit different people's ears. There's English on that side. Sweet, I'll play those later on. I've not much success with Bluetooth things. I mean I find that it doesn't seem to last very long. I just you know the battery'd be dead in like an hour sort of thing. It's just yeah, not been happy with the stuff I've been getting so far. I thought I'd try something else. This is a USB cable to charge it up with, which we'll plug into here somewhere. Battery port there to charge it up. I guess they share the same support. Yep, okay. So, whether there's batteries on both sides or not, I don't know. You've got a button there, button there, button there. So, it's got three buttons on it. Don't forget to be links down below for these things too. It's a bit bright and yellow. You see the trend here? They look exactly the same. There's some different ones. Why I get two the same? What on earth happened there? That's weird. Okay, well, I'd have to open this one up. You can have a sooner. This one here is a different version. It's got a, a wired lead instead. Not wireless. I actually prefer the wired ones myself, generally. I'm not going to get them out. We've got a little bag. Nothing in it. Guess it's a gift. Mm -hmm. Are these any good? Don't know. I'll maybe let you know later on. I'll try to comment down below or something. I might be put something in the description to tell you what these are like. Look at these things, 90 dB, plus or minus 3 dB sensitivity, 60 ohms, 20 to 20k, uh, 1.2 meter quarter length. These are dual driver ones. I like dual driver ones, they seem to have a slightly better base. Can you guess where this one's from? If you can figure it out, tell me down below in the comments. So these are LEDs, but these aren't normal LEDs, these are infrared LEDs. 850 nanometer. 100 milliamp rated, uh, 890 nanometer, 100 milliamp rated as well. These are for some experiments I want to do on some equipment which I repair. So I repair these FarmTech sports timers, you've probably seen my videos on them, and there's a tendency for some of them to actually have issues with infrared LEDs failing, they get weak or they, you know, just get a bit dim or whatever, or they just blow completely, you know, from use because they sit outside in the sun, they get, you know, all sorts of weather conditions and all sorts of stuff, and they can fail, so, because they're driven quite hard as well in order to get a nice light curtain effect. I wanted to try some alternative LEDs, so one of the manufacturer use are fine, obviously, they, they work, but they can fail. I wanted to try some different ones. These ones have got slightly better specs. Not much, just very slightly. Now I'm not quite sure about exactly which bandwidth it's going to work. I mean, these it shouldn't really matter. The thing that's receiving it is just a photo detector, basically. I'm going to experiment with these at some point and try substituting some of these LEDs instead of the original ones and see if they work any better. So I can get some better range, better angle. These have got a broader angle as well, like the actual angle of um, focus. The manufacturer ones, they're like a 10 degree angle. These might be 10 or 15 degree or something like that. I can't remember exactly now. But um, some of these were also had slightly better spec for power. The actual factory original ones are pulsed quite hard. They're driven really hard, but in like little pulses. I wanted to try these because these have got slightly better specs for that. They're more expensive than the ones which the manufacturer uses, obviously. I'm going to give them a try because I think they might be slightly better. That's my mouth turned up, so we'll open this up as well.
here we have a whole bunch of uh, 250 volt ceramic fuses nice assortment there so we've got some half an amp up to 30 amps I didn't actually have any of this style so I definitely needed some so 6 by 30 finally my piece of test gear I get I need to replace fuses and I don't just have the right fuses for it so now I've got some Got cables, not the correct type, they don't have the insulation on the pins. The PoE adapter, like the way it's got these mountings on it, that's quite nice. And it screws together, so if you even need to pull it apart and have a look, you can. And you can actually you can see through there too. So this is a 24 volt 2 amp PoE. 24 volts used a bit less commonly, it's usually 48 volt PoE. This is 24 volt, which is a bit more unusual. Some of the ubiquity gear uses 24 volts, which is why I've got these, I've got two of them, both the same. Let's open one of these up now and have a look inside. So these screws weren't even that tight when I went to undo them. Okay. Obviously I haven't powered this up and it's been in shipping for weeks, so I'm not thinking there's going to be any power in here. But let's have a look. So it's a 24 volt 2 amps on here. Also you've got the main AC DC conversion. You've got the output side here. It actually has a filter in there. Well, kind of. It's got a ferrite bead. It looks like these are configurable modules. Interesting. Very interesting. It's got this bead shown there. It's making sure it's going to do between the right legs, it is. 100 watt apparently, that's what it says this side. Isolation, oh, there's an isolation slot down there. That's all right. Also, you don't really know how good the transformer is. You know, it may or may not be all right. You've got a common mode choke down here. That's nice enough. A couple of big caps. What brands are these? Chong X caps. I mean, they're in a lot of stuff, these Chong X. I think they're that bad. I think they're, you know, budget but I don't think they're horrendous well I mean there's a bit of flux rigid around the place stuff like that auto isolated there I mean you can say the clearance and stuff look fine there's nothing jumping out at me as being bad you know this soldering looks all right I think they're fine time will tell I suppose okay I think I found out why the screws weren't very tight all these posts are split so I went to reassemble it and I was thinking this isn't doing up so the screws they've used are actually a little bit too big for the posts and so they've all split that's not ideal Especially on the mains product. We'll just look at the other one, and this one's fine. These screws are full tight, so maybe this one had a bit of an impact and that's what damaged it. Maybe that's what's happened. I mean, these holes, let's have a check, and these holes do go right down, right? So if you wanted to, you could just put longer screws in, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Alright, so we'll test loops. So I've got some, which I showed in a previous amount bag, I haven't put away yet. These little type like this. Show those in, the, I think, the last one it was. Sit into there. So, little loops like this. So you hook onto test probes on circuit boards. And I also found this type online. It's like a standard 0.1 inch header, but obviously it's just a loop. So if you want to use this type instead, which is a bit more robust, that's also an option. If you design your own boards, these look pretty cheap. There'll be links for these things down below. We've got some more fuses. Some more 6 by 30 mil. These are standard glass fuses. These go to 0.25 amps. So a quarter of an amp up to 30 amps. So it's very similar to the other set. But this goes to a slightly smaller value as well, to 0.25. And I tend to find test gear I'm using is sort of down this area here. These are very low currents. So getting a bunch of these will be fine for that. I'm sure there's something in here somewhere. So I've shown these things before. So these little rubber plugs. 3.8mm rubber plugs. These fit beautifully inside a 3.5mm audio jack. Right, a 3.5mm mono or stereo jacks. These push in really nicely and hold quite well. And I've used these a fair bit. So I've used up all the ones I've already had. I've, I've already used them all. Probably I should have got more than 20 though, but yeah. So I was getting a bit low on pens, so I got some more pens. These are custom ones, so these have been done for something else. I'm not sure it's printed or lasered, I'm not sure. Anyway, these are custom ones. So you can order your own pens on like AliExpress, and you, you can get custom designs. And it works. Lovely jubby. I should get some YouTube ones, shouldn't I? Check out the other links down below, subscribe over there if you're not already subscribed. Become a Patreon over there if you want to help me to buy things from our bag and buy this test gear to fix that sort of stuff. Catch you later.